Hello, hello, hello. Good Monday to all of y'all. I have been itching to dive back into Brutal Legend. Um, so I had to mix it up with a different playlist today. Rather than the normal Brutal Legend soundtrack. Hopefully, kind of testing to see if I have the VOD music good. Um, so let me know if the audio is doubling up. So there should only be one source of music, and a second one should be black holed only to the VOD. Actually, before I go crazy, let me double check that my yep, stream and black hole. That one should be going just to the VOD. Well, let me move over a little bit. Let's zoom in. I feel like having a very large head today. <laughs> uh, it has been a weird weekend and a weird day. So let's go ahead and play. <laughs> so let's see, um, where we left off last time, we had a three month time skip, our protag love interest became very sad and then went evil, as one does I suppose. Um, I think I noticed there was a lot of... Yeah, I think these are all, like, side quests. So I think I want to take a quick detour. And let's knock out some of those. Just because I think we need to do um, the, like, fire tribute from, like, the... Relic raising the rose things, like that. I think I already raised this, but you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, I already raised it. So, like those relic raisers, um, various side quests. We're just marching around kicking ass. I think I need to hit a certain amount for the more lore to show up. Because I feel like we should have had more. Um, Come on. We should have had more lore bits by now, and there is certainly some stuff I was hoping to get. Alright, map. Have a. Well. I gotta go this way and then left? Yes. We're just marching around kicking ass! It is... I don't know. This is one of my least productive weekends in a long while. I just felt really... it's like, I didn't feel bad, but I just felt... I just kind of had a... was in a weird mood. I can only describe it as like, feeling like I was like out of phase with existence. Which is kind of a weird thing to describe without taking uh, psychedelics of some flavor. It was like, it wasn't a bad feeling. I just didn't really feel like doing much of anything. And I didn't feel the need or want to do anything. I just kind of existed and vibed. Which I suppose is one advantage of having Twitch and uh, various other personages. There are a lot of people to hang out with and Dude, kill time. I can use your life. Come on. But it is not so great when you have things to run to not.
What is this? Looks like something inside there is dying to get out. Can I relic raise? Can I face melter it? Nope. Rock can heal, but sometimes it hurts. Battle cry, maybe? Your heart's not palpitating what? now. Call that your doctor, because you are dead. That's uh, kind of a bugger. Let's see where... Am I even going the right direction? I need to go a little bit more left. Right. Yeah. This would be really awkward if I could have fast dropped. You know what? Doesn't look like it. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the motor forge and see if we can't fast travel. Oh, hey, dude. You, uh, you, uh, surprised me with a gnome power. <laughs> Hope your Monday has been uh, going great. We're just getting into some Minuto uh, Legend tonight. You have interrupted the Guardian of Metal's nap. Metal noise, blood and fire. Care to make you more about some fighting seeks. Style is right. important. None There's no work. shame in looking good. I was hoping I could fast okay, travel. Okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. No Rock and right. roll! Hey, Jiro. Welcome on in. You know, I have gnome base, but maybe I need gnome headbang. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps I just need some other genre for everything else. <laughs> Hey, Iris! Jackie Owen love, Jackie Owen love, Jackie Owen love. <laughs> Jackie Owen love, Jackie Owen love. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 mana, Iris. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping on by! I am lost, so very lost. Nope, nope, get out of my way, get out of my way. Is this the right way? No, it's not, but I see something over here. Uh, I think this is a new ability? Question marks? Alright. Alright. Tell me, tell me the new spell. Anvil of Burden. Lock an enemy in place. I can't wait to try that out. Alright. I can't use it. Gotta have an enemy. Dang it. But, uh, this isn't your first time dropping by the, uh, so this game, uh, being all about ah! metal, classic metal and rock, um, has a lot of such classic musics. Uh, normally I have, I have a Spotify playlist and that way I can have it muted in-game, so it won't be off the mod, and I've been playing it just for people streaming, um, but I figured I'd change it up since this is like our third- ah! I can't believe you know me. <laughs> Welcome on by Aurora. But uh, I figure, you know, We've had we've had a couple streams with a normal soundtrack. I thought I'd mix things up a little bit and uh, also test if I have a kind of a uh, ah no I think this kills me a DMCA free thing to put on the VOD so it's not just a bunch of silence and awkward. But uh, this playlist is just some quick Spanish metal. Um, because I've been 
I've finally been playing um, Victoria 3 recently. Uh, I've been playing as Mexico, just because I'm used to, right. used to the Americas. And uh, I just have, I'm just reminded of a bunch of old, um, there was a time where a bunch of EDM was like kind of a Spanish, Latin sort of vibe, like saxophone, and then that led my brain to remembering there is a, uh, a satire metal band, um, Nano War of Metal. Um, And they have absolutely ridiculous, I think it's like a Norwegian, I think it's called Norwegian Reggaeton, I think is the song name. And it's just a really silly... Aww. Oh, why would you awe that? It's, it's actually really great. It's a really good music video. You got, you got a bunch of people with like classic Kiss-esque metal black and white outfits in the middle of like a Spanish beach sort of setting, um, and they're singing nonsense Spanish phrases to a, to a jaunty tune. <laughs> Alright. So I have been passing by these, like, Vista view stations, but apparently I do get fire to No! I feel like we got awe before already from random sound effects. Maybe it was a different awe. There's some that are like very similar sound effects, but they might be done by like a male or female voice, or they might have a different intonation. I'd be really miffed if we got two awes in a row. I didn't rip four or five hundred random sound effects just for it to repeat some over and over. I feel like there's got to be something up here. I went through all that effort. You are here. I don't want to be there. I want to be over there. Oh my gosh. This is killing me. Okay, this is the right way. I accidentally dropped out of these. Come on, Greggy. You know how to drive. I mean, actually, I don't. I'm a snake. I never could pass my driving driving test as a snake. No, you uh you have the ability to spatially conceal and distort an entire ziggurat in a jungle, but that just does not give you precision of uh, manipulating accelerators and brakes. Um, the driving story. I don't know what stories I might have told about my driving. Unless it's uh, stories about me driving the wrong way, because um, it definitely happens very often. Which is why I don't drive. You know, just because I can't legally drive doesn't mean I haven't driven. I mean, come on. They pull me over and I just uh, shrink down and hide in the glove box. Ah, shit! Okay, that's normal ground. I'm alive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, uh... Had to drive... Basically... Cross-country. Is this something? It looks kind of fancy. Hey. I mean, just because I did doesn't mean I did it well or legally. All oh, right, I do have weapons on my vehicle. I just kind of been driving past it.
Monsieur Racer. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, I can't a bloke just be alone with his thoughts from time to time. Can you think and drive at the same time? Uh, here's what I think. Screw you! Eat my exhaust. Alright, alright. New. Nope. Where did you get a rubber band big enough for that toy? Rubber band? This... You're calling my car... a toy? Fool. Which one am I? I am the one powered steered by Jack Black. Currently, I am... I thought you knew this course! Oddly enough, this seems to have been easier than, like, all my other races. I usually horribly screw it up, but this one's kind of an open area. And maybe I spoke too soon? Question mark? Oh. Come on, Greg. Oh, finish line right up there. We got this. Oh, shit! Fucking... Ugh. Oh, it counts. Nope. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, almost fucked it up. But he fucked up more. I don't know where he is. Only that he's behind me. Hell yeah. Yeah, no. No. No, the weird... Yeah, that's me. The human. Cheater! <laughs> he has tiny exhaust pipes for teeth, which really makes me wonder, does he go to, like, a mechanic for dentistry? He's got to have a specialist of some kind. Yeah, it seems, uh, seems you got a little bit of rust on your molars today. You got to... Gonna have to redo that chrome. Um, hold on. Roses. Roses usually means relic razor. No. Okay. I guess not. Cool. Good talk. Um, doing, uh, doing a bit of backtracking and cleaning up of some stuff skipped over uh, while we've been going through the main quest of the game. Unfortunately... No teleportation. That probably would have made this a little bit too easy. But hey, we get to revisit some of the cool landscapes. Mostly because um, we're getting close to the point where it, the game starts feeling really rushed. Um, in my opinion, and it, it kind of starts to get a little bit noticeable that they uh, double fine ran out of budget. Uh, also, I can't. I re I'm fucking. I don't remember how I'm able to open up the. I've come across two things that seem to like be sealed somehow. I don't remember how to open them. I feel like, I don't know if it's blocked by the main quest, or if it's blocked by me finding a specific ability. 
Nope. All right. So what do we have over here? Right after I eat my vehicle into them. Think there'll be some attacking hordes soon? Oh yeah! Everybody wants the healing strings of the Metal Queen. Oh hell yeah! Hook me up, I'm ready for blast off. Oh man, me too! See anyone what coming? Oh, more. okay, so it's like a turret thing. I thought we were going to be fighting with the, uh, the headbangers. It's the crew! Alright, this is... Kind of have like a current mini game sort of thing, but it's done by uh, uh, putting your car on a giant hydraulic lift. <laughs> kind of a way to uh, have your cake and eat it too. Although perhaps I should see if I can upgrade my vehicle. I've kind of been avoiding anything really with uh, the vehicle stuff because that's not really uh, the game that does a lot of things. And it suffers a little bit because of it. Wow, it yeah, this like is little dead ants from up here. My third? Another session, victory for basically? the hydraulic death rack! Pretty sure it's my third. Yeah, but I, so this game, um, this originally came out in 2006, 2007 for the Xbox, um, 360, question mark, I think it's the, I think it was the 360, um, and that's where uh, I, I played it way back then, and I haven't touched it since. Um, I noticed it was on Steam um, some months ago um, before I started streaming. I knew, I knew like Sacrifice and this game um, were two games I really wanted to play. So I've had it here on Steam. I mostly remember it because, like, I don't, I didn't have, like, a music player or anything, so, like, when I was doing homework, I would basically fire up this game and just let it play for the soundtrack <laughs> while I did homework, because uh, it's the only way I could have some music. I guess I could just die, you know, that's, I can do that too. Um, Y'all have got an ad inbound. Um, so if you need to adjust volume, do so. And I will see you back in a minute. Which is not gonna miss much. We're gonna be just traveling to the next place. Yeah, a lot of nostalgia. And also, like, it does have a pretty... Double Fine had a very... I don't know how they were able to afford it. Like, they have Ozzy in it. They have fucking Jack Black is the um, main character. Um, a lot of major... A bunch of other um, major artists make cameos. Uh, the soundtrack... Like, it's impossible for them to have a, a, a soundtrack for the game that they could release with it because uh, the licensing for it would be just stupid expensive. No, no, no. It's le legit Jack Black. Oh, fireflies. 
I need to hit those. Yeah, it is just suffused with uh, uh big names. Which is probably why it ran out of budget. <laughs> the, uh, before the end. Uh, their, uh, their time is not cheap. That is for sure. Let's see. Uh, gotta get all the way around this giant mountain. Yeah. Although this mountain was my favorite place with the, uh, the spiders. Think there'll be some attacking horde soon? Any minute. What do you all say? Right. You ready to mount the death rack? All right, another Look turret. Me up. I'm ready for blast off. So it's probably gonna be a little oh, bit before man, I get too. to another main quest. See anyone At coming? I'd say like sacrifice in this game. Uh, they both have that sort of tactical, real-time strategy like sort of mode. Um, whereas sacrifice kind of have like a hub world and all the gods you go to uh, in each mission. Obviously, Brutal Legend Mr. took a Riggs, more uh, open-world avenue. But Otherwise, the main gameplay is still kind of the RTS. And also, they both have the same Curry. But uh, we won't hear Tim Curry's delicious Wilson tones in a while. Unfortunately, voices the Don't get in flank, basically the main antagonist uh, faction, the demons, the leader of them, is ridiculous. And this is a wild before you run into no! They're totally chipping the throne! Have a sort of act two sort of situation in the main quest. Because uh, the main sort of human leader got, uh, got shaggy dog in a cutscene. The view from up there is really incredible. You should check if it out. You know out what a, a Shaggy Dog story is. So a Shaggy Dog story is when some it's a story that you know something's built up and built up and built up, and then it's suddenly dropped. Um, and the joke is the anticlimax. You know, you're you're expecting a big payout, and instead it's, it's nothing. Usually. Usually it's done where like someone is built up to be super amazing and awesome and then they just get no soul in like a five second bit. So like, you know, someone's built up to be like, oh, they're so powerful, they're so amazing. And then they just get stabbed and are instantly dead. Which is basically what happened to uh, the human faction leader. So as a part of that, um, our protagonist's love interest uh, Apparently she was part of something called the Black Tears Rebellion. And it seems like the Black Tears is this kind of corrupting ocean. And uh Hey, what are you defending here? We don't want anyone taking oh. amps from the screaming wall except us. Am I hey, right? It's the other other half of um uh Pick a Destiny. Um Jack Black's Duo. Um, shit, I can never remember his name. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, let's team up again, you and me. Yes. It feels bad to only fuck remember Jack Black's asked. name and not the other guy's name. Okay, on my mark. Gotcha. Here comes cannon fodder. All right. So instead of being a turret, now we are simply calling down artillery. All in the 
the service Fire of more lore. This is awesome. Come on, they turn around. I want to turn around. Hey guys, tell me if this hurts. Uh. Bullseye. On the yes fresh batch. Fresh batch. Where, my friends, compadres, companions? Yeah, I'm. I am a sucker for a good Shaggy Dog story. It's mostly on my mind because I also watched. Uh, right there. What was that? Movie? Bullet Train. Um, very good movie. Holy shit. I am so surprised the actors they were able to get for that movie. Um, and it is told in a very interesting way. Oh, yeah. God, that was such a great movie. I, I did not hear anything about it, and then uh, someone I knew uh, was holding like a, a watch party kind of thing and uh Get her in. i decided to drop by Ow. and just work it hey not my fucking cannon don't make me come over there uh, hey not right there shoot this close ha. I just oh. ah, i'm stuck ah, i'm stuck do it hey guys Tell me yeah, the, uh, me spicy enough for you. The, uh, what was it? The, um, mm. I think it was the cartel guy. Ready to fire. Was definitely no sold. You know, he was built up, you know. It's huge grudge, and he just, bam, instantly. <laughs> right there. Clam big. Brutal victory. Respect the mortar, you assholes! Okay, then I have to resummon my vehicle. It's also fun the uh, like, well, like spells in this game. Instead of like you know sacrifice, you just kind of click click. But in this one, they're a lot more interactive. You know, you get a little rhythm game, rhythm mini game to uh, to really use the spell. Could maybe get tedious for some, but uh, I'm not. I'm certainly not exhausted by it. Ah! Uh, all right. Certainly not built for everywhere to be. Well, actually, before I forget, let's check for. Vehicle upgrade before I can get again. Um, as far as Hunter or Hunter, um, I don't think I've really seen any of that. Although I have the not really of a lot of anime. A little bit tired of all this. Metal noise, blood and fire. Tell me what you most desire. Catchy. Now here's where things get interesting. Homing missiles. Bolt thrower. Um, an electric charge. Why don't you make someone else that ride your cool. lightning for a change? Just a little extra something deadly. Subwoofers? These right. speakers really pack a punch. Let's see, do I have any new outfits? Yes, I do. Um, let's let's change this up. Oh, how's that any different from... Ah, okay, so the, the paint isn't running. So we got more of a kind of a kiss sort of thing going on. All right. I've got a couple of moves I can show you. Why not make them come... Left, left, right. All right. Ah, all right, all right. fire. 
It's like a pretty fountain that kills people. Okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. I want you to go fucking crazy out there. Do you hear? Damn it, Ozzy. I want some fucking. Where's my lore? Oh, hey, Mr. Crowley. The song that got uh, part of my VOD muted the other day because it was a. Uh, wasn't part of the soundtrack, it was a hard coded into a cutscene. So that entire section. Think there'll be some attacking lords <laughs> soon? Are you kidding? This mine is the mother load of all car parts. Everybody wants to control it. But we want to keep it employee owned and operated. Yeah, un unionized headbanging. I'm trying to remember, was Hunter Hunter one of the animes that has kind of a superhero esque thing going on? Hook me uh, up, super I'm ready power for sort of thing. Oh man, me too. See anyone coming? I know it's wow. like it rings Can't a bell. I feel like I've seen it, but I don't know. I think I might have just like watched one or two episodes. Just because I, it's really hard for me to get into superhero stories. Mr. Rick, sir. Enemy Nowadays. On the other side. Ever since I read uh, Worm, Worm is other a way, very, sir. very good superhero fiction. Both in just like it's a good story, but it's also a very Oh, no. They're got very good themes you, that he uses, as well as being well Don't get flanked, Mr. Riggs. Don't let him get that close. Come on, I can only do so much damage. Stop haranguing me, mate. Demons. Oh, we got more enemies. Now, considering I had units from being further in the campaign, I kind of thought this would be even easier. Let's see. Let's go. It's taking a while. Is there something out there? Death from above! The view from up there is really incredible. You should check it out sometime. Powers doesn't doesn't fly like a superhero. Hmm. Through it now. I think that's always good when it start when stories have that kind of nuance. You know. <laughs> sort of a what's the what's the trope usually called? Good isn't always nice. Bad isn't always evil. Usually used when there's like people talk about like there's a pantheon of deities in their setting. You have the the quote unquote good gods, and then you learn later on, oh, they're not actually they just happen to be the ones in power. What you got, Hey, Blast. leave these poor deer alone, will ya? These aren't deer. They're monsters. They look like deer to moo. Mother of God, what's wrong with their mouths? They've been infected by the tainted coil, taken to their oh, labs and experimented on, tortured, injected, tainted, poor doggies. and then set free again. If I don't kill them, they'll spread their toxic plague to the rest of the herd. I've seen you running them down with your car. What? I have not. Won't you help me kill all these tainted <laughs> deer? 
I don't like it, but you're you know, right. You I, I can certainly empathize with Jack Black here. I have hit way too many damn deer. And it's really frustrating. Because half the time... It's not my damn fault. Like, I remember one time, uh, in the late evening, I managed to stop it was in the middle of the road. But just sat there in front of my car. And so I just sort of like slowly edged forward, which caused us, you know, step out of the way. And then right as I was finishing passing it, it whipped around and its horns smashed my side mirror off. Uh, I have lost four side mirrors to here in all the time I've driven so far. Menace, I tell you. Menace! But Venice and Jerky is very delicious, so you know, can't hold it too much against them. I'd be pretty angry if I tasted that good too. That's it! You got them all! Just doing my part to help Mother Nature. Although him talk about purging them, helping Mother Nature reminds me of a uh, what is it? I think it's a documentary. I can't remember who it is, but it was. You can find it. I think if you search YouTube for um, wolves changing rivers. Wolves changing the shape of rivers, or something like that. But it basically um, it talks about when they reintroduce wolves, which had gone extinct in the Yellowstone Park region, and how they basically affected a chain of events that literally changed the path of the rivers that flowed through Yellowstone and the whole health. And it's really impressive, and it really goes to show you that sometimes little changes, little effects, can have huge ripples. Um, I think that's a, I think it's a good message. So, are you the keeper Not of the sacred in, beer tree? Um, Dream job? But also no, man, it's a nightmare. My job is to deliver the beer from here down to the beach for the big party. But every time I try to walk some down there, it gets all warm. You can still drink warm beer, you know. No, I mean the sun gets all warm. And I have to stop under a tree and drink some beer and, you know, just go so fast. Uh, I'm starting to see the problem. <laughs> drink you want to give supply. it a try? I'll do it, but I want you to know roadies do more than haul beer around here. What's a roadie? We have a supply mission. Um, where's the beach? Ah. I see. Alright, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think. But, um, basically, you know, they introduce the wolves, and the first thing, you know, your first order effects, you know, the deer start getting hungry. You know, less deer to be eating, grazing all the grass away. The, the deer were also um, a lot more skittish, and they weren't just freely hanging out near um, the riverbanks, you know, where it's all open and they're very vulnerable. So because there was more grass around riverbanks, they were able to stabilize the weapons like runoff, and that let um, a lot more of your insects grow. And flowers and then you get your birds you know with all these open running water we'll start getting the beavers and you know they start doing their beavery thing and making dams and you start redirecting the rivers and it is a more I fucking lost I fucking lost more complete ecosystem Uh, okay. So we gotta go this way. We take a left. I'll probably eat myself down. Oh shit! 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 No! 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 
I lost the beer. Alright, let's try this again. This time with less yeeting. <laughs> Just a little raptor demon as a treat. Left one morning, taking the truck, because that's all was left. And, uh, it sounds kind of weird. You know, I stop it, I check it, I don't see anything wrong. Get back in, start driving again. And then all of a sudden I hear a kerthunk. And then the whole vehicle shifts down. And I just see in my side view mirror, one of my tires. Flying off into the bush. It sheared straight off the bolts. Exclamation mark would be back in a minute. Uh, no problem, Iris. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the mana. That's just gruesome for demons. Not how many mana it's all done like that. I feel like I should figure out a way to do it. Oh, never mind. I see where it's sitting. 30 mana. I know how to count. Awesome party. This party sucks, and it's all your fault. What? Well, everything was great until you recruited those Thunderhog Riders. Sure, they heal us and keep us from bleeding to death and stuff, but they're stealing all the women. I've been trying to talk to that girl over there, but every time I get close, one of those jerks moves in and cramps my style. Of course, if I had some help, someone to be my wingman, <laughs> Listen, you go sweet talk your lady. I'll round up some headbangers and keep those other dudes from getting too close. Really? Well, this isn't what, just a scheme uh, a so you can swoop in on her yourself. Where was Valentine? No, I'll uh, totally I steer don't... clear of you guys. Now just relax. I don't pay attention yourself. to any holidays. Okay. Well, I just here goes February. nothing. So I know one of these days there's there's that. Alright, keep the bikers away from that dude. I want you to squeeze tight around me like a rock and roll. I bet we look awesome when we do uh, What are we looking for? Hey, I see the guys slowly Can moving I get in. You a beer? Huh? Take care of that guy, Eddie. Hey, oh, baby. I see. <laughs> we gotta knock Eddie, this guy out of the ring. What kind of wingman are you? No. Okay. Alright. That was uh that was a practice run. Let's show Try what again. you headbangers can do. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that was awesome. Okay. Mosh pit! Thanks. Alright, alright. Kind of move faster without being in a lost pit, so I guess I gotta kind of oh, man, that was awesome. catch and release. I'll bet we look awesome when we do this. Hell yeah! Go away, Thanks. you fool! That's metal. You nailed that metal. 
Great working with you. All right. Uh, you like almost done. Like some time man. with a real man. Who's that? Take care of that guy, Eddie. How'd you like to spend some time with a real man? Oh, get him out of the way! Get him out of the way! Eddie, what's up, That guy's mama? getting too close. <laughs> Where's my wingman? Huh? Come on, Eddie, come on. Two seconds. That guy's two getting seconds. too close. There we go. Brutal victory. Way to go, dude. Oh, we got another race over here. That was kind of a kind of a perfect little quest down to the beach thing at the beach. Now I'll race at the beach. Hey, so what's your problem anyway? Huh? I mean, you're a demon. Shouldn't you be trying to kill me? Nah, that's the tainted coil that does that. I'm not part of that outfit. I'm too ugly. Damn, dude. Don't be so self-deprecating. I'm and sure you slow. have. Uh, Don't forget slow. I'm starting sure you to see charms. why they hate you guys, though. You better fuck off, nonsense! Alright, 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 got this, we got this. Easy, easy. Now we're cooking! I don't know what the song is, but I hear the trumpet. So in my books, it's the bop. Certainly listen to a lot of non-English music from someone who is very bad at languages. You just kinda you kinda just feel the rhythm, feel the vibe. Come on guys, it's bobsled time. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. Just the groove is enough for me. If it sounds good, it's good enough. This is really awkward back when I, uh... What, what were they? I want a rematch! <laughs> I think they were called Inomine? I think they were ultimately like a... German Catholic metal fans? But uh, I found this one song that sounded very dramatic that I really liked to listen to. And then I decided, hey, I wonder what these lyrics are for. I wonder why they're there. And I look it up, and the music video is basically a story of a woman's boyfriend turning into a werewolf and then hunting her. Um, so that was very surprising. <laughs> like, oh, you know, the tone of the song kind of kind of makes sense now. I uh, kind of that's, that's what they're doing. Uh, all right, I think we just have. Ah! More over here. Oh! All right. Certainly some. This ain't no. Uh, this ain't no Halo. That's for sure. All 
Oh, that was one of my favorite things to do in uh, the old Halo 1 Combat Evolve. Trying to, anytime they gave me a vehicle, whether it was a Warthog or the tank, or a ghost, just trying to take it in the places I'm not supposed to have it. Often leads to interesting situations that the devs did not expect. Wow, you killed that tiny porcupine all by yourself? Dude, that is a steel quilled ground urchin. Those things will fuck you up. They have quills of steel. Oh, whatever. I've killed a hundred of those things is, just driving around. <laughs> Never beat my record. What's that? 20. No problem. Starting now. No problem. Perfect timing. All right. I can beat that easy. I'd get moving if I were you. Slay the urchin. Jackass. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta find some urchins. A little big deal. Yeah, they're all over the place. I'm surprised I even lasted an hour because I have had like six cups of coffee today and I have been devouring some leftover pizza. It's a uh, jalapeno pineapple chicken, red onions, kind of shindig. Very delicious, but uh, very... fucks you up a little bit. <laughs> oh, I thought I was on a timer. Well, let's... Let's see if we gotta go back to the map and defeat it. Because for a quest like this, I'm pretty sure it's going to go through many of the animals. And I want to know if I have to go back to him or if I can like try and grab his quest and go and do other quests so I complete his while doing other stuff. You know, a little bit, a little bit of efficiency. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a delicious guitar. Oh, no, 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 no! Stairs? What does this lead to? Alright, yeah. Yeah, why not change the heads? Cool, good enough for me. Escape to exit. Um. Um. Game. 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 Let me exit. Game. Ah. Game. 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 I'm pressing escape. Why are you not letting me exit? Game, game, please. 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 I'm fucked. Are you serious? 
All right. Ah! <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Fucking mashing my keyboard, it finally got me out. Oh, don't tell me I have to start over. Okay, no. Let's, uh, let's get back in our vehicle. It's always been about you and me, baby. Alright. Porcupine! Five more to go. Alright. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard. They're, like, all over the damn place. Come on, come on, come on, they're fucking made of steel. I have a lightning gun. Should literally be drawn to them. Ugh, excuse me. What's this? Call of the Wild. Summon a group of friendly creatures. The urchins have a new master. Can't wait to go rub that smug bastard's nose in. Interest. Oh, okay, okay. I remember this now. Oh, I see some fireflies. Here we go. Hit the boost. Use the boost to get through, Fox. I think I just remembered how to unlock those sealed up statue things. Oh, I'm gonna be so annoyed if if I'm right. If what I just remember just what I thought is right. Oh now I just gotta run into another one. Guess who's the new urchin killer in town? Big deal. Nobody hunts those anymore. Yeah, you know, the Metal Gods even honored me with a fire tribute. Yeah. They don't have too many animals up there in the heavens, I guess. So they get pretty psyched whenever you send one their way. Even little puny ones that are easy to kill, like ground urchins. Oh, so you're a big man because you killed a... What was that, a little fawn? They're called raptor elks, and they're raptor carnivorous. Elks. And I already hold the record for hunting them. Oh, yeah? What's that? Fifteen. I can beat that easy. <laughs> I'd get moving if I were you. Certainly see where this is going. Oh, oh, you hunted that? Well, I mean, that's that's small potatoes. Yeah. Like, but have you tried hunting this other thing that I totally already hold the record for forever? You know, scrub. Fucking. Uh, it's so frustrating when you run into someone who's just like... All they know is infinite one-upsmanship. It's like, come on, like, not everything has to be a competition, mate. Bloody hell. Oh, yes! Lit. Alright, these ones are a little bit, bit more difficult. I can't just run them over, alright. Okay, some of them I can simply run over. Apparently. Yeet! <laughs> ah! Ah! So, where is Fleetus? Ah! Alright. I'm gonna be. 
very mad if this does... If this works. Okay, that did work. This is hmm. terrible. I gotta ungag this dude. Hang on, little dragon. I'll pop that cork. Just give me a sec. Nope, that didn't yeah. do anything either. You guys feeling it? Okay. I am both happy and annoyed that that didn't work. I really thought the, uh, because I, I rarely ever remember I can do the, uh, that ability. Oh, wait. Did I... <clears throat> A way to see my abilities? Oh, hey, we're getting a lot, getting a little, little folk metal now? Is that a hurdy gurdy I'm hearing? Or an accordion? No, what's that? What's that instrument? I'm mostly, I'm mostly makes me think of hurdy gurdy because uh, I know Elite uses that instrument. They have a hurdy gurdy and bagpipes and all sorts of eclectic instruments in their repertoire. Is there a race up there? You just fucking... Ah, there isn't a jump button. I'm a fool! Ugh. All right. Fine. And we will go the long way. Serious. I can beat that easy. I'd get moving if I were you. <sighs> Where's this? That'll teach you. That's enough out of you. I got brutalized. Oh, hey, there's uh, this stuff here anyway. Whatever. I meant to die. I uh, was counting on that fast travel. Yep. Definitely intentional. <sighs> yep, it is a giant iron cross. Certainly is a thing. Be lonely being a demon on his own. Hey, I got people. There's a whole army of us, in fact. Are they all as slow as you? You'll find out someday. For now, I'll just have to beat him a sad army of a race. You demons. mean in a race, right? Wee, 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 wee. Should have sent your body after. Who's squealing now? Huh? At least we're not on uh, yeah. Rainbow well, Road. You knew this course. Ah. Ah. Why are demons so slow? Man, that was again okay, like Mario Kart back in the day. Although honestly, I kind of liked uh, Diddy Kart, Diddy Kong Racing more than uh, Mario Kart. Right? Like I like the Mario Kart. Um, battle mode 
I remember playing the ever-loving shit out of the battle mode. Yeah, every everyone when they found it, whenever they learned about it, trying to do the, uh, the Rainbow Road skips, that certainly got pretty crazy. And then when you mess up, it's like, well, I guess I'm gonna lose the race now. <laughs> Get that heap off the road! Do not touch my damn car! Yes, snooze, you lose. Race demon. I let you win that one, punk. <laughs> oh, just like the last three. Um, let me let me actually see if there's something an ability I can buy. I, I feel like it's a specific ability that lets me um, release those things. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done Relic Razor. Hell yeah. Whee! It's Bowser. Oh, it's just Ozzy. What is it? <laughs> Metal Scary noise, contest. blood and fire. How about some fights? Uh, I've got a couple attacks. of moves I can show you. Power slide. Okay, right this one's a little running. flashy, but it gets the job done. Electrifying enemy. Get a little okay. more bang from your. Well, Here's a kicky. Why not make them come? To Hold them to you. To you. Uh, I don't remember how to target enemies, so I try target. Move backwards and press R. Fan of dark adventure games. It's like a pretty um, fountain that kills people. Yeah. Probably. Do you mean dark as in like Dark Souls dark, like grim dark gritty kind of thing? Or dark as in like dark themes, like um, stuff you might need to put trigger warnings around or like gore or that kind of dark? So I think Roman Candle maybe? I don't think I've tried that. So left, right, right. I tried that one. So left, right, right, and then power Why slide. Why not make them rabbit. come to you? Okay. We can buff out the scratches while we're at it. Majestic. I'm with the crew. Okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. Go uh, fucking yeah. crazy! Yeah, certainly. I, I, honestly, I don't even know why I, I clarified because I certainly played games in all all those categories. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks like oh. You solo. Why, you, uh, got something in mind? Rally army. Good one. Alright, whatever. I'll do that. Alright, where is one of those dragon heads? Okay, I know there's one over by him. 
so let's go check that one out. Try those new abilities to see if one of them opens. So I'm going to be really miffed if it's like some late game thing. Mostly because this game doesn't have fast travel, obviously. And I've seen those dragon heads all the way in the starter area. So that would be tedious as hell. I feel like maybe they are what's blocking the lore stuff. Okay, so... Let's see what it is. Left, left, right. Nope, that didn't work. Power slide. Nope, didn't work. Um, how do I target? Options. Controls. So low, no. Yeah. Radio menu, low, no. Build, fan, cancel. Control is my lock on. Alright, so if I lock on... So I just need to lock onto it and then do. Nobody gags my dragon. Ah, uh, phrasing, Jack Black. Um, hello, Sally face. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of Sally face. I assume it's it's PC. I would say that I don't have the capability of. I don't have any consoles. Also, like in old, old console games, there are <clears throat> workarounds, depending on how old it is. But I can't say I've heard of Sally Face. What, uh, what kind of game is it? I've certainly been meaning to get some more horror -y games on the docket. It's because I do like horror games. Some of the first movies I ever watched were horror movies. And... I'm not impossible to scare, but I don't scare really easily. I don't know. I enjoy... Horror. No, 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 I watch people reacting to horror games. I think some people might enjoy me doing horror as well. Horror Dark Adventure. Interesting. Sally Face. Let me... I don't have a pen near me. Oh, right, I have my marker button, which I forget exists, but thankfully I remember now. <laughs> oh boy, exploring your apartments. I certainly am incapable of not thinking of things too deeply. <laughs> I certainly like uh, theorizing, speculating on stuff. So it's a game that's ripe for such musings. Sounds like it would be great. Alright, so lock on. Alright, I just hold oh I just gotta hold the right foot. Yeah, that makes sense. Back here! Turn it! Hold still. There we go. I should go hey, tell that guy kill. how easy it was to beat his record. Is it like music music or like a, a band that does ambiance music? Does it say if you like 
um, dark ambient music. I know there is a label, um, Cryo Chamber, uh, that has a lot of amazing stuff. I love using them, um, when I've done, I ran a Curse of Strahd campaign for D&D a long time ago, and it was very good for setting the appropriate horror ambiance. Careful there. there. Is, there's yeah. a specific Bet artist. You don't know the where I got this. The album. Razor Fireboards? Oh, Who does? You must have heard about them when word got around how I slaughtered songs, so many. The ambient what is it, songs some kind of record around, like the Lovecraftian gods. So, like Shoggoths, Cthulhu, uh, is it Shup Nugroth? Something like that. I can beat that easy. And then I'd get moving if I uh, were you. What is it? Flowers for Body Snatchers is a band I specifically remember. Loser. Um, because they have an album, um, Aokigahara, the uh, infamous um, forest in Japan, where they actually sampled sounds um, around it. I don't know if they actually went in it and got any sound samples and built a very eerie ambiance album with it. Um, certainly the kind of stuff you put on for a certain kind of vibe or mood. Heavy Metal or Screamo? Name of what? The the band or the album? I think I've mentioned like two or three. Uh, flowers flowers for body snatchers, I believe. And then the album was the Alki Al Al It's it's a Japanese word. I don't know Japanese. It's the the, the that one infamous chorus. I think the one where, what was it, Logan Paul disrespected and made fun of despite it being a serious topic. Some major YouTuber fucked around. Alright, I need to kill, I think it was the dwarves? I don't know where the fuck they are. If you're meaning the uh, the general dark ambiance like label, it was cryo chamber. Oh. things there are. Yeah, it's very eerie. Wrap them up for punishment. But damn is it good. Well, on one hand, I now know how to open up the dragon things. 
Think they'll the be some attacking hordes soon? Not marked on my oh map, yeah! So. The Razor Meadow is like a living munitions dump. We I need to keep not it in our going hands. to be really Hook me up. I'm ready down, for blast off. Oh man, me I'll too. I'll certainly take them out when I see them. See anyone coming? Rick, sir, enemy approaching on the other side. Um, Let's get as it is inbound, you need to adjust your volume. I will see ya when you return. Other way, sir. Screw <laughs> you, demon. Doesn't that feel good? They're sneaking up behind you, sir. Demon. Yeah, I definitely, definitely get the uh. Like, I tend to go through cycles in music. Like I will, I'll listen to, I'll listen to some like EDM, and then I'll just slide into either, like more energetic stuff, like it goes into like nightcore, or maybe I want more chilled out stuff. I'll go to some kind of Sibiant, synthwave, health run kind of stuff. And eventually that will go all the way around into rock and metal. Although it's hard to beat some of the old classics when it comes to my venting emotions music. OG Wow, they uh, look just like little dead ants. Meteora Lincoln Park. <laughs> That ain't the last of them. Better keep her lubed. I used to have... I used to only have three new CDs. I, I, I had Linkin Park's Meteora. I had... Paul Van Dyke CD. I can't remember... which one. I, I know it if I see it. Uh, Paul Van Dyke is a uh, German techno. And then I had a Tiesto CD. I think it was... No, it's not Magic Sword. It's like... I think it's Adagio for Streams, maybe? That might just be one of the songs on the album. Uh, but Tiesto is... So I would say Paul Van Dyke tends to be more trancey? The Tiesto would be more tech, if that makes any sense. Alright, what about this thing? Can I... Looks like something inside there is dying to get out. Alright, if this thing counts... Do I... this thing be open? Okay, so I just do the shockwave. Alright, what the fuck is this? Oh, lore! This is the shit I was, I was trying to find. In the beginning, all was darkness. That was how the first ones preferred it, for they were so hideous that even they could not bear to look upon themselves. Then came the fire beast. A giant monster of monster flaming of molten, iron, molten iron who iron. roared across the sky like an angry comet. His metal body burned so brightly, it illuminated the world and all its hateful creatures. He was Ormagodon, cremator of the sky, and the first ones loathed him because his light forced them to see themselves as they truly were. So they hid underground and dreamed of a day when they could murder the fire beast and rid the world of his light forever. Origin lore. Yes! Alright, well... At least now I also know how to open those, but that's on me for not trying all of my damn abilities. But in my defense... 
they really make it seem like you need to use a specific solo, considering like the introduction is using solos to open up various things. I think this is the best place to find those things. Let's go ahead and kill nine more. Should be hard. What the uh, the little solos? That, uh, that I can do that are basically like my, my spells or abilities. Yes. Uh, the fact that you described it as searching apartments makes me think of a web serial I used to read. I think it's still going? I think I see updates for it now and then, but it just kind of kind of fell out of my vibe. But it's called, I want to say, Daily Grind. And it's kind of set, so I don't know if they, like, get recently hired to an office job, or they just, like, go into the office one day after hours. But they sort of... It feels a little eerie. Like they go into an office that's... A reality just a step out of phase with normal reality. So like the it still looks like a you know your generic cubicle office. And then they run into like a stapler, a bunch of staplers that are like sentient creatures. And they, they fly by doing you know, you know how staplers they can like you can like loosen the bottoms, so they flap around, so then they fly around, and then they run into various other office um, entities, you know, things that are now living creatures somehow, and they start finding um, these weird colored orbs that like. I believe there's there's like a pattern, so like blue orbs do a certain thing, red orbs do a certain thing kind of stuff. But the reason they keep going, even though like these, these creatures tend to be hostile, um, and the reason they keep going back and trying to get these orbs is they kind of impart abilities. So I think they like you might absorb one and it gives you like cabinet sorting five levels and you suddenly find your ability to sort cabinets is substantially increased where I think like one person gets like Taekwondo a couple levels and they suddenly have like a matrix moment like I don't know so it's like they keep finding these orbs and when they use them they get these weird abilities just basically instantly upon themselves and it's kind of an exploration of this weird liminal space. That's the word I was thinking of. This weird liminal space. But also kind of their um, interpersonal relationships. Um, because I think like one of them is sort of... I want to say they, they were like having issues... How would I phrase this? They were... having issues understanding themselves and introspecting. Um, and I remember at one point they sort of have a sit-down talk with their closest couple friends um, and they sort of discover together that they were actually kind of they have more than they have more than friendship feelings they were actually kind of poly 
Uh, they sort of I can't believe something as ugly there. as you killed something as cool looking as that. No, oh, I've killed way more tallisks than this one. How many? Five. Tallisks. I don't know. I can beat that are, easy. Sure. I'd get moving if I were you. I don't know what tall looks. Tall, 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 tall Never be as good as me. I don't know what tall looks are. It's always been about you um, and me, man. It's a web serial. Is that a tall Oh, I guess that is. Oh, I thought those were those beasts that were on my side. So most, uh, that one was not on its own website. That one is on Royal Road. Um, Royal Road is like a, it's like an aggregator website for a bunch of web serials. Um, another one you might have heard of is I suddenly can't remember the name of it. Blood Ashes. Um, that's gonna fuck me. Uh, Cause I know some stories migrated over to it. But uh, Royal Road tends to have, like it has a little bit of everything, but the stories that tend to get like the most popular or drive, that are easiest to find are like, some of your Eastern fantasies, so like your cultivation stories. Um, lit RPGs are also a huge staple there. Um, yeah, those two are probably some of the biggest ones you'll find. It's usually my go-to. There's, there's a lot of stories I... Keep tabs on over there. It's not too bad. Although I know a lot of the bigger series is, 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 have been uh, slowly moving to partial publishing. So like they'll have, if they've been going long enough to have a few books worth of material, they might like put out a couple books on Amazon, Amazon's ebook service, and uh, as a part of the, that kind of deal, they have to take down those chapters from Royal Road. So it's like they'll have books one and two published, but then they're on Royal Road. You'll have books three and four, which kind of sucks if you were late to finding the story. But it's kind of a kind of a middle ground when it comes to the existence of web serials. You know, it's, it's kind of like, kind of like streaming. Sort of, or doing a creative effort into the void. Um, ah, shit. Oh, speaking of going into the void! Oh, I lived. I lived, bitch! Ha ha! Can't kill me this time. But, uh, some of them want to turn their writing into more of a job, and that's, well, more power to them. <laughs> Although, because it is free, the quality can certainly vary. Well, I certainly have some fun. on the direction some stories go. There's also some quirks if you've never read web serials that's like... All web serials are always kind of... There's always a bit of roughness to a new web serial, especially if it's their first web serial. Um, it's hard to describe until you like read through it. It's also why, like, if they stick to it and they keep writing, um, very often 
eventually they'll be like, hey, I'm gonna slow down chapters so I can rewrite, you know, the first couple first couple books or whatnot. Because uh, at a certain point, you know, they improve their craft and it's like, oh, I can do better than this. Kind of like an artist going back and uh, doing some of their new, uh, redoing some of their original art. You know, my art five years ago, my art now. Yeah, yeah, that too, Haglar. Also, welcome on by. So it's more of a brutal day than a uh, control one. <laughs> Oh, nope, not that. Let's show them some no, no. Where are that damn monster? Is there one over here? Nope, that's a bush. Those look like enemies. Yep, those are normal enemies. That is that one of the beasts? Nope, I think that was an elk. Raptor deer. You missed the first part of the uh, the goth section. I kind of I kind of put a pause on doing the main quest because I wanted to clean up some of the side quests that I have been ignoring. Because I thought I needed fire tributes for lore, but it turns out it was the uh, large sealed structure. And then I remembered how to unseal those, as well as the, uh, the dragons. So... We are learning a lot today. You could use more Tim Curry voice? Hell, I will always be okay with Tim Curry voice. Like melted chocolate in my ears. What's over here? Yeah, certainly, certainly the, um, yeah. passing of a legend. I mean, hell, the stuff that Curry's, Tim Curry's been in is still fucking insane and he's so iconic in everything he's participated in at least as far as English VA work that I'm aware of I feel like he kind of has set the bar I certainly don't know too many English voice actors. Although I know... I feel like... If memory serves, like... Generally... The voice acting scene is more developed for... Japan compared to... America. But I don't know if that's just because of... The anime... Just because anime scene on that front. Who this? Yeet! Ah! Another artillery. Hey, what are you defending left. here? Our old home, man. Keeping the looters out. Hey, let's team up again, you and me. Yes. 
thought you'd never ask. Okay, on my mark! Gotcha. Scare these guys. All right, all right. It's too easy. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, hello. I feel like there should have been some enemies by now. Hello? Hello? Okay. Ah, there we go. Do it! Ha! I spit on this one! That meatball's spicy enough for you! Right there! That's the spicy meatball! Yeah! Enter it! Incoming! This is awesome! You know, I don't think I've actually really played Jeez, where are these guys coming the from? Batman games. Maybe like wow. Batman and Robin <laughs> way back on like <laughs> the N64 era? I don't I don't know what it was. I don't know what I don't even remember what console it was on. Firing! Is Reloaded! That gargling? Bombs away! Uh, Ready to fire! Uh, get her in! The Here fuck comes! Is this? The fuck is that? Say the, the fuck word. am I? There's a fresh batch! What the fuck? Right there! Firing! Get him! This is awesome! Just laugh at me, will ya? Is that it? Nope, more enemies. Yeah, Might have been if they had one on the Sega Genesis. This is awesome! I really wish I remembered what games I had the Sega Genesis. They were some really other than yeah. like the Spider-Man and right Carnage there. game. Fire in the hole! There was one of these like top-down not bullet hell, but like the American yeah, right. style bullet hell. Yeah. Like when I think bullet hell, I think Kalhu more about fire. precise pattern right dodging, but like the American top-down ones is just like Get her spam. Fire <laughs> yes, death all around me. Victory. The car was almost destroyed anyway. Hello, my old friend. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything through here. Yeet. All right, quick round of turning. There'll be some attacking hordes soon. Yeah, there are some nut jobs out there who think Lion White will rise again, or maybe they're just scrounging for booze. Hook me up. I'm ready for blast off. Oh man, me too. See anyone coming? Brown, can't you see them? Are these things all right, wild? all right, yeah. all right. What you got for me? Bunch of fools! <laughs> Wait, if they're supposed to be lion white enemies, why are they the grunge zombies? I got these guys. These are not the correct enemies. <laughs> Kind of funny because uh, Enemy approaching on the other side. in the original area, we were still getting uh, teenage coil lift. enemies. My lift. But, uh, Hello, jerks. I guess this far in. Hey, get away from me. 
we are getting the current campaign of this block of instead of the original normally we would be fighting. Another way, sir! Okay, I just don't like the looks They're sneaking up behind you, sir! It certainly seems that way. It's kind of annoying. And that you can't like outscale the enemies. You know, I see some of my own from uh, the campaign. I guess it's kind of an anti-teasing measure, but each faction is different. It'd actually be funny if the uh, there are lion bite enemies. I feel like there are some lion bite enemies mixed in. I don't teach you to come near my jack. And it's like all of the uh, all of those uh, black tears enemies were just random mobs that happened to swing by. I prefer the RTS section, honestly. Time to get the F out of Dodge. That's certainly why I put it in the same realm in my head as Sacrifice. Alright. Um. All the squatters from the Bat Family's home. Alright, let's kind of... I feel like we've done plenty of side quests. Uh, just cruising for gonna, demons to kill. Uh, roll on out. And press on with the jame. No problem, Iris. Thanks for stopping on by. I will have to give a gander to that game you mentioned. Because I do want to do some more horror, horror dark games. I don't think I've hit that Vista. Might as well as hit it just so I don't forget. Huh. Not sure if I'm going to be doing a 100% run, but no reason to ignore stuff right in front of me when it's there. Ah, what about the symbols mean? I'm sure they mean nothing. Completely inconsequential. We're just keeping this land safe. Don't mind me, just passing on through. Bada bing bada boom. Hell yeah. So far I've been, uh, I didn't really curate this playlist, but it has certainly been full of Be that 
way? Can I just... Can I just keep... I don't take fall damage, do I? No! No, I'm good! Nice little shortcut. The old rainbow road trick. <laughs> uh, you go down a little bit more. I yeah. And then I kick them, sir. Through the woods, a girl came sadly. Something broken in her chest. She had dared to love another. Alas, no better than the rest. Up my path, the girl came gladly. Something opened up my doors. I longed to stop her bleeding heart. And so I called her to my shores. Those you trust will hurt you badly. Something now I'm sure you see. So drown your tears in me, my dear. As you drown, my dear, in me. Well, that's certainly some poetry. 